What's up guys? I'm just filming this one myself. Uh, my name is Warren Williams. Website, check it out, warrenwilliamscoaching.com. I'm going to give you different features on um, topics, different topics, health, fitness, wellness stuff, but I'm also going to have different um, video clips on, on YouTube and videos. Just to give you a few more tips if you're a trainer or even if you're just someone interested in exercise. But I'm also going to hit you up with some information about nutrition and, like I said, wild, wellness stuff. So it's going to be different subjects and different days and times. Right, so today's subject, we're going to talk about um, food, real food. We're going to talk about what, what is real food? What are we talking about when we say real food? See, the thing is, today people are eating foods that have been modified, have been enriched, fortified, and microwaved, and so on. Different types of foods that the body doesn't really rec recognize anymore. See, the thing is, you've got to look at it like this. We were eating foods completely different to foods we were able to eat today, even a hundred years ago. We have a saying, food has changed more in the last 50, 60 years than it has in the last 5,000 years. So the human body is evolving, but it's evolving at a very, very slow rate. In the last 50,000 years, our body has changed less than 0.001%. So our body cannot evolve to adapt to these new types of foods. We're not supposed to be evolving to these new types of foods anyway because they're not even real foods. So let's break it down. What's, what do we mean by real food? If it grows out of the ground, if it grows in a tree, if it crawls on all fours, it's real food. All these other things, they're manufactured. You know, surely you don't think, you know, Pepsi Cola and you know, cocoa puffs and sugar puffs and all these companies just grow out of the ground. Obviously, you know, you know that that doesn't happen. You know, they are manufactured in the lab. So what they're doing is they're taking different nutrients or different food sources and putting them together in a specific laboratory. That's not the way we're supposed to be eating food. We're supposed to be eating food that's natural. You cannot compare and beat Mother Nature. You can't. You know, Mother Nature provided every mineral that we ever needed, so why would you want to add to it? We were born, raised, and live on the planet Earth, so everything that we need is already here. We don't need to add to it at all. So, if you look at foods nowadays, if you go to the shops and you see a lot of these foods that, you know, like I said, you know, cereals. You know, a lot of these cereals, you know, if you look at the back, it's got synthetic sugars. Most of the names you can't even pronounce. You know, like monosodium glutamate and, you know, all these just emulsifier, lesser. You know, all these chemicals and then they've got names that you can't pronounce. But then they've also got numbers. You've got some, if you look at the back, look at the ingredients. Some of them say things like number 59248. They won't tell you what it is. Why can't they tell you what it is? Why are they giving it a number? Surely they can tell you what it is. It's the type of question you need to, you know, be asking yourself. It should just have the bare amount of ingredients in it. You know, things like um, Sunny Delight. Have you looked at the back of Sunny Delight? If you haven't, I'd suggest next time you're in a supermarket, have a look at the back of, of one of these drinks, such as Sunny Delight. You're supposed to be orange juice. But if you went, you know, went to a, like a farm or you know any conservation where they have oranges, and you actually just, you know, dissected that, you would just see one ingredient: orange. So why would you want to go and buy one of these manufactured things in a laboratory that has 50, 60 ingredients in it? Most of the foods that people eat nowadays are dead. That's what we're talking about here. Real food is alive. Real food gives you energy. It's the same. It takes energy to give energy. So if a food is not alive, it's dead. It's that simple. It's not, it's not one, if it's not one, it's the other. It's either alive or dead. Live food have their energy intact, so when you eat them, you can be sustained. It's really important that we understand what real foods are. So like I said, if it wasn't here 10,000 years ago, don't eat it. If you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. If it says enriched, fortified, and so on, don't eat it. because. Minerals in its manufacture and processing that they've had to add synthetic chemicals to them. Your body cannot break down chemicals. It's not designed to break down chemicals. It can't do it. Your body is only designed to break down food, real food. So once you start adding chemicals to it, it goes into your body and your body says, you know what, I don't recognize 
24. I don't know what that is. So the body just won't, re won't recognize it and it won't break it down. And anything that can't be broken down by the body is stored as toxic waste in the fat cells of the body. Now think about that, that's really important because if you're eating food that's not being broken down, where does it go? It doesn't just go out the back, the body it's stored in the body. Sometimes it tries to get rid of it, you know, the, the um, kidneys and the liver try to filter out all these poisons of the body, but because you're intaking so much junk every single day, you can't, you know, you can't intake it. So after a while, you know, it starts to get broken down in the body um, and it gets stored in the fat cells. Toxins are stored with. Now, when it comes to toxins, the average person in the Western world consumes 10,000 chemicals a day. That has to be filtered out by the body, has to be filtered out by the liver and sent to the kidneys and the bowels, you know, to get released from the body. You know, this is something. And just to give that perspective, the average, this is not the worst, this is the average person in the Western world consumes 150 pounds of chemicals in dry weight per year. 150 pounds, that's like 10 stone 10, you know. The amount of weight that your body has to detox, that's chemical waste. Your body's detoxing every single year from foods that are not real. So we need to get back to what's important, real foods. It doesn't take a second longer to make a good choice than it does to make a, make a bad choice. So you need to start making good choices, eat foods that are real. You can't improve on water vitamin water or water, H2O improved water, real water, mineral water. Drink that, get yourself some food that grows out of the ground, grows in a tree, or walks on all fours, and you'll be straight. Okay, eat natural, takes life, you're all good. Thanks for your time.